guys. So here she is. It's really, really cool. It's a, um, so here's a little bit of a background story on the cart. It's, it was a 60s racing go-kart at Six Flags, which is an amusement park here in Texas. And it served for uh, about 10 years. And then the guy who, like he worked there for probably about five years. And he decided to, he asked um, Six Flags, a company, if he could keep the go-kart and they let him have it. So basically what happened to him at that point is he, well, uh, he grew up and then he, um, this thing kind of sat in his garage and it, um, after about 30 years of sitting, he gave it to one of his friends who in turn sold it to me. So that's really, really cool. So it's definitely without its issues. As you can see, it has a ton of body flaws. The good news is, is it's fiberglass. So we should be able to patch all of this stuff up with some like Bondo glass or actual fiberglass. But the body seems to be pretty cool. Don't really know what we're gonna do yet in paint scheme. Maybe do original restoration, maybe do something kind of cool. Uh, it's a three and a half horsepower motor, totally seized. If you can tell by that intake port, it's totally full of just stuff that shouldn't be in the engine. The tires are, they're actually, they might be okay. They're kind of dry rotted, but I mean, we're not gonna be setting any speed records with this thing. Um, the seat's an issue. Also, the steering is completely seized. So we're gonna have to figure out what's going on there. And as well as this wheel bearing is seized. So I think the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna get this body off and try to figure out what's wrong with the steering. All right, so I didn't really uncover anything new here other than some very apparent rust spots. I think you can see there. Just a lot of the floor is rusty, so what we'll do is probably replace that. Um, so yeah, that's not that big of a deal. So the next issue I'm gonna look at is why the steering has, well, won't turn. So I think what that'll have to do with is that right there where the two tie rods connect. So I'll take a look at that. I'll probably undo those and see if I can turn the wheel. And then I'll see what is actually seized inside the tie rods that's keeping them from moving back and forth. All right, so I think I found the issue. It's not this. It's the, um, it's the actual spindles themselves. The other one doesn't want to steer either, so I think they're both seized. So I think the next thing I'll try to do is loosen up this bolt and see if I can get it. All right, so you can see that it works. All I had to do was um, I had to loosen up these a little bit and put some WD-40 in it, and now it steers pretty good. I think it, it's just everything on this cart has been just sitting and rusting for 30 years so it's just gonna need like a little bit of force to get it free again and then I think it'll be all right so the last thing in order for this to be a fully rolling chassis is for me to free up this tire because it's totally locked up so hopefully we can fix it um, hopefully it's just like a the bearing or something like that is messed up so all I need to do is remove this um, pin right here and then hopefully I'll be able to pull off this top part and the bearing will come apart. All right, there we go. Oh yeah, that is a sad looking bearing. All right, so all it needed was some uh, WD-40. Get a focus. I'm working with a new camera here, guys, so hopefully you see a big like, quality difference, but I can spin that and so, that's awesome. All see, everything on this cart is just really old and just needs to be freed and then just greased up and it'll do just fine. Alright, so we made some progress. The motor is no longer seized. So I guess that's decent. 
So now I'm gonna do, I'm gonna yank the head off and see what it looks like because we are making zero compression right now. So I think this thing's toast, but I'll at least take a look at it. All right, so the piston, it had a bunch of gunk in it. The valves were stuck. I just hammered them down. So I think what I'll do now, is I'll try cranking it over. Let's see if we have any movement in the valves at all. Oh yeah, okay. So I think the valves were, oh. Okay, so they go up, but don't go back down. So I'm gonna try to figure out what the issue with that is. Probably just seized up. Maybe I'll just shoot some WD-40 in there or something, I don't know. All right guys, so by some miracle, I unseized the valves, and now, look at that. So I think what I might do is I might pop the head back on really quick and just see if we're getting any compression at all. And if we are, I'll test the magneto. And if all that stuff works, then we will see what we can do for trying to get it started. All right, so what the issue was, was that the valves were seized. So all I had to do was, um, spray some WD-40 in it and work it until it freed itself and now it turns over fine and when I put the spark plug in it makes comp compression so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to unbolt this thing get it off this engine plate and put it up on the bench and see if I can get it running All right, so it's a new day, and unfortunately, I did some research yesterday on like the parts that would be required to bring this engine back to life, and it's just gonna cost, like, it's gonna cost too much to be worth this engine. So today we'll just go get a Predator and throw that on there. It'll be more powerful and it'll be much more reliable. So that's good. So I think the first thing we're gonna do is <clears throat> take off this wheel and try to fix this wobbly wheel bearing. And then the engine plate, and then we'll put a Predator on it and hopefully be able to drive it today. All right, so I took a little bit of motivation, but she's coming out. All right, so we got our bearings removed from there, and we got that off of there. So we're gonna need to find two more bearings. All right, so we just got a good old Predator. I love unboxing these. And I don't need that. All right, here she is. Looks really good. No shipping damage, so that's always nice. All right, so putting some cheap oil in there. Half a quart. It's decent. Uh, we also got a Hemi head, so that's cool. All right, guys, it's all full of oil and all that, so Hopefully. we're going to crack it up. See how many starts of course it takes. Alright, so we got a new uh, brake drum and band, so I just threw that one on. Well, not new, but less crusty. So I just put that on, and the Predator is done getting all like warmed up and stuff. So what we'll do is a little, we'll let it cool down, and then we'll start it again, and then we'll let it cool down one more time, and we'll change the oil, because it'll have a ton of metal shavings in it and stuff. And then we need to clean up this shaft before we press any new bearings on it. So. 
All that stuff just needs to get done now. We got the brand new bearings on there, as you can see. It spins really nicely. Um, you can also see uh, the new brake road, brake, uh, whatever it's called, drum, and then the brake bands, kind of. All I have to do now is hook that up right here. All right, so we got it back on all four wheels. There's the brake that connects to the pedal right here. So I'll hit it. You can see, it works really well. We'll drag the wheel. So now, the next thing we're going to do is work on cleaning this up and getting the engine plate on it. So we're going to have to put it there. All right, so what we're going to do first is cut this off here and then cut this here. I think these are the factory wing mounts, so we're going to have to remake one of those one of these days. So yeah, um, basically what we'll do first is we'll replace these two pipes because they're really rusty and just welded to probably 50 times. So we'll replace those. And then what we can do is we can take a look at our engine plate here and figure out exactly where we want to put the motor and then just weld it on. All right, so this is coming off and now we just have, oh my God. Now we just have to weld in two new pipes right there. All right, so we got the, these pipes welded up. Welds look pretty good. So now what we need to do is we need to put on our engine plate and figure out where the Predator is going to sit on this. All right, so we put the engine on and it's, it hits this bar right here. So I think what we might do is just cut it out and just move it over a little bit and re-weld it. That way we don't lose that support, but that way the engine clears because this thing was not meant to have an engine that big, that big on it. So and we'll see. All right, so we got the Predator on there. It looks really good. It looks very big on this cart, which is cool. Um, so, and we also got the clutch alignment on point. So that's cool. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna tack up the engine plate and then we'll take the Predator off and then we'll weld it up completely. All right guys, everything's all welded up. We also revved out the Predator and stuff. So now all we have to do is flip it over get the throttle cable ran and then bolt the engine up and run the chain and then it's ready to rip all right guys we got it all mocked up um an issue as you can see this is like really small and i can't even turn it so what we're gonna do is we'll have to cut here and raise the wheel up a little bit that way we can get full articulation as well as some leg room and we'll also probably cut out this area right here just so we don't have to worry about fixing it and there's room for the wheel to go up. All right, so we got the chain on, we got the engine completely bolted down. So now the last thing I need to do is just hook up the throttle and then we'll be ready to test drive this thing. I'm excited. All right, so we have all the throttle linkage all hooked up. So that's cool. So now all we have to do is we gotta like lube up the chain and then we'll jack it up or we'll put it on jack stands and then we'll be able to test it all out. It's kind of dark so <laughs> riding quality might not be too good. We'll have to find a parking lot for with light. Hey guys, I'm switching to my phone. It's a little better in low light. And so, all right, now we're just gonna try to start her up. Got it? Yeah. Brakes. Okay. Oh. All right, I think it's ready for a test drive.
Alright guys, this thing's a drift machine. Probably because of the dry rotted tires and the super high gearing. So this is our first run with the body on. It looks sick, but I don't know how like practical it is. Happy clutch. That's amazing. Oh my God. All right guys, that was awesome. I never expected this thing to drift like this. So we're taking this thing back. We're gonna do a full like restoration. I really want this to look like a 60s go-kart. And so yeah, be sure to subscribe for that. Thanks for watching.